Hello everyone, so a short update here on the A50 and the IL-22M that were hit over the Azov Sea. This photo has been shared showing the damaged tail fin. So, as you can see, this is a mess. This is caused by a blast fragmentation, and the Pac-2 Patriot missile does have that kind of warhead. The Pac-2 has a range of around 150 kilometers, so it is the type of missile that could potentially hit these two aircraft in their flying patterns. So it's looking more and more likely that Patriot has added another few notches to its bedpost. As for the damage here, well, you can see the IL-22M has quite a few new glory holes, some fairly sizable ones, so spattering all of the tail and damaging the rudder. Also, looks to be a nice big hole in the elevator on the rear wing, a pretty big hole underneath the rear wing. You can also see a number of shrapnel damage along the fuselage. And this is only a small section of the aircraft. There's likely more damage heading along the fuselage that we can't see. So, the missile, presumably Patriot, impacted towards the rear left-hand side of this aircraft. And this is interesting, and seems to have gone unnoticed by most. The little censored pod at the top of the IL-22M's tail is also missing. I'm not sure if it's just obscured because of the lighting so we can't see it, or the missile strike that hit this aircraft knocked it off, or it could even be this is a different aircraft model than claimed. The IL-22M is an airborne command post, an upgrade on the IL-22. However, Russia also has this variant, the IL-20M. You can see this one doesn't have the tail pod. This is a signals intelligence aircraft. Now, if this is what was hit, then this might become even more hilarious. Because there is a recent version, called the IL-20PP, which Russia claims is capable of jamming Patriot. So if it's an IL-20 instead of an IL-22M, then the Patriot jammer failed at its job, just like the S-300 and S-400 does. But most sources, including Russian ones, are putting the damaged aircraft as being an IL-22M rather than an IL-20, so I do think it's that. But, but the missing tail pod, I thought worth mentioning. It could just be that it's obscured because of the lighting, unless of course it fell off during the missile strike. Finally, Ukraine has shared this. Flights tracked at the time of the incident. Now, I struggle to make head or tail of it. It's all blibs and blobs. But from what I can tell, we have three aircraft flying patterns around the Sea of Azov. Looks a bit like the Dad's Army intro. One leaves to an airbase in Krasnodar, whilst another flies from near Rostov. Now this Rostov one is the important aircraft. Another in pink pops out of view. I'm not sure why. Could be it flew too low to be tracked. And at the same time, another aircraft appears near Berdyansk. The aircraft from Rostov then goes a bit doolally and vanishes. This is the A-50 being shot down. The other two then beat a hasty retreat south, one of which is I'm sure the IL-22M. Now, they both vanish from screen, I think that's just because they, you know, maybe flew too low to be tracked by the radar or that sort of thing. But one of them, more than likely the IL-22M. Whether it is damaged at this time heading south, or it flew near panicky, trigger-happy Russian SAM defences close to the Crimean Bridge who fired on it on its way south, who knows? One of these may be a helicopter. Remember, one of them sort of pops into being near Berdyansk. Russia wouldn't be launching aircraft from there. Actually, considering Berdyansk got hit by attackums, I'd be surprised if they have helicopters there. But it may have been a helicopter there which took off and started flying the pattern in this area as well, along with the A-50 and the Il-22. Or it could just be an aircraft that wasn't detected by the radars initially and was there all the time. But certainly... These flights show the A-50 flying from their Rostov, disappearing from radar, and then two aircraft scampering south. So I hope I've got what we've seen here right. It was a bit confusing for me. It took me a while to make head or tail of it. A very nice bit of action here by Ukraine. The Patriot definitely proving its worth. The A-50, I've seen prices of between 350 to $500 million. And more importantly, the type isn't in production anymore. Russia had 15 airframes. But some sources online say just 8 of these AWACS were operational. Now, they have 7 AWACS and one new aircraft type, the UWACS. They don't have many IL-22s either. 
Of both IL-20 and IL-22 variants, 25 are just listed as service. So that's it for this video. Hope you found this update interesting. Now, I recorded this one before I go to bed and scheduled it for later. So it is very possible we have a new update between my recording this and the video being released. So thanks very much for watching and take care everybody.